This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Sierra Madre Playhouse for their presentation of A Little House Christmas. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Rich Cassone, born in New Jersey, uh, traveled the world for a number of years, landed in Los Angeles in 2011, started acting in 2012. Here I am at Little House in the Prairie. Played Pa, Charles Ingalls. Charles is a man whose uh, main goal in life is love, and he just wants to take care of everybody around him through hard times, and that's what he does. If my viewers decide to come by and see this piece, what should they expect to see? They should expect to see a piece that's perfect for the entire family. It's filled with Christmas joy, it's filled with sorrows that get resolved, filled with hard work, good American values. Well, I wasn't sure about when I saw this play, because I usually like things a little darker. You know, I'm the theater guy and all that. Usually, you know, you got to see some kind of drama and all that, you know. And, you know, my idea of comedy is no one dies at the end. That's my idea of comedy. <laughs> yeah. But basically, I was actually, I actually enjoyed myself here because obviously for a Christmas type thing, you, you know, it's going to be more family oriented. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be wholesome and all that. Mm -hmm. And I did enjoy the end. But, you know, it kind of tugged a little bit towards the heartstrings. Nice. It is. A, it does tug at the heartstrings, you know. It's, uh, what this play is about is it's about spending an hour and a half in this time period, in this part of the country, and with these people. It's an experiential play. You come and you become a part of 1880s uh, North Dakota, right? And you get to do that for an hour and a half. And it's a great way to escape from what's going on around us. Yeah. Could you comment a little bit about the dance, the style of the dance you guys did? Yeah, the dancing. Wow. So for me, uh, playing the fiddle and the dance, I didn't play fiddle when I got uh, cast in this play. And I've spent the last six weeks training with an amazing instructor named Roberta Wilcox. And uh, she brought me up to par where I can play these reels. They're traditional uh, American songs that would have been played throughout the Midwest and throughout the South. Uh, first one is called The Devil's Dream. The second one is The Arkansas Traveler. They're things that are still played at hoedowns today. So it really forms a connection between what was going on then and what's happening today in America. Yeah. Also, you know, we've had an election recently. I'm, I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, I've, for the last few weeks, I've been thinking about the people who voted for Trump. It's like, I mean, who are these people? They're like in the Midwest. It's like they like guns. They like country music. They're, they're, they're a little different from me. I, I don't know them. That, but I think this is the type of play that they're kind of identified with, kind of the heartland. Kind of, kind of, what, what do you think about that? You know, the, the heartland is something that's difficult to describe. I think what people can identify with is wanting to take care of their families and needing to find a way to do that inside of a storm going on around you, whatever that storm might be. And that affects people from both sides. Um, and that's something that's beautiful about Little House. You know, when the revival came up in the 70s, when the books were turned into that show, that's a show it appealed to Americans of all castes, urbanites and people living in rural areas. And our show does the same. Yeah. Well, once again, I did enjoy myself. I thought it was a very Christmassy play. And uh, I, it did tug, to, tug at my heart strings towards the end. <laughs> so uh, I did enjoy myself. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. I'm glad we touched you. Have a good evening. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Rachel McLaughlin. I spent about seven years singing on the national tour of Sesame Street Live. So I sang with Big Bird for quite a while. And then I've been working professionally um, and regionally um, for the last about 10 years. So. Oh, great. And which character did you play? I was Ma. Ma is the rock. Uh, she's definitely the glue that holds the family together. She is there to make sure that everything works properly, and she's also there to, to kind of help the, the kids grow up and, and teach them the va their values and everything. If my viewers decide to come by and see this piece, what should they expect to see? Uh, they should expect to see a lot of fun, um, a lot of messages about what Christmas is all about, about you know not exactly what you get, but it's who you spend your time with, and, and being kind to everybody, which I think is also a great lesson. Usually with theater, I like things a little darker. I like <laughs> dark comedies and all that. For Christmas, it's usually not that. I mean, you just can't do that for Christmas, you know what I mean? But I must admit I enjoyed this. I, I enjoyed the ending. I, I, enjoyed the, I enjoyed the family atmosphere. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know. I, I enjoy that as well. I think that especially for the holidays and especially, um, you know, we always need to remember, you know, about family and about um, treating those around us with uh, kindness and respect. So I think it's a great message and I think that we'll learn a lot from it. So. Yeah. Once again, I did enjoy myself. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with... Hi, I'm Sophia Nacarado. And I play Laura in Little House on the Prairie. I'm 11 years old. I live in Los Angeles. I have been acting since I was three. I love it. And I play Laura Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie. She's very bubbly and she's very um, excited all the time. Um, 
she we refer to her as a dreamer because she writes these books and she's very ex uh, exciting part to play yeah one thing I was impressed by the children in this piece is that they were central to the piece. I mean, without the children, there was really no family. Was it very challenging to do that? Well, at first it was kind of challenging, but you just um, fall in love with this play and it gets really easy and um, once you're rehearsing all the time, it's really fun. So why did you decide to get into theater anyway? Well, my sister started theater and that kind of led me into theater. and. I've been doing it since I was three. It's very exciting, and I've just grown up doing theater my entire life. Once again, I really liked your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm a KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with... Katie Grace Hansen. After high school, I started working on Disney Cruise Line as a performer, and then I did that for about a year, and now I moved out here, and I'm performing out in L.A. Great, and which character did you play? Mary Ingalls. I think she's uh, she's the older sister, so she's more responsible, and Laura's a, li a bit more mischievous. So I think she's uh, kind of like the second mom, and she likes to take care of things. Um, she's very very sweet, and she always has her crush on Nick. So I like that about her. <laughs> I enjoyed the performance very much. What was unusual about this performance? Actually, the children were almost central. I mean, it's, it's family. Without mm -hmm. without children, there's no family. So that must have been a very uh, challenging uh, position to be in. Yes, well, I am an older sister, so um, I find it a lot more natural. Um, a lot of the acting, uh, I have a younger brother who's very mischievous, so um, it was very easy to relate to Laura. And um, I like that it's family central and uh, very good and innocent for everyone. I like that. Okay. So why did you decide to get into theater anyway? I've always been in theater. Both of my parents have been in theater. My, I did my first show when I was four years old, The King and I, and I took dance for nine years. I, I have always been involved in theater my entire life, and I just love it. I really enjoyed your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with... Samantha Salamoff. I've been acting for a very long time, and I've actually been in the play A Christmas Memory with Allison Kalmus as the director, and it was a great show. I played Nellie. Nellie like really she was just with her mother and her father and like she didn't really get that much like affection as the Ingalls did so she's kind of jealous of that. I, I actually like characters who are kind of little anti-heroes more villains because actually you're acting otherwise you're just playing yourself so actually, I actually admired your, the, the way you uh, did your performance. Thank you. So why did you decide to get into acting anyway? Well um I just thought that like when I saw like people on TV, I'm like, wow, that seems like an amazing job, just like being someone else and not being yourself. So I just thought of like, wow, being in a musical would be great because you get to sing and act and that would just be like a great job to have. Well, once again, I really liked your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM Irvine. I'm here with... Patrick Garinger. I started acting, I don't know, when I was maybe in first grade. It started with school assemblies, and then last year I got my first play in A Christmas Memory. Tonight I played as Peter Ingalls in A Little House on the Prairie. He's kind of the kid who likes to rough house. He's not the cleanest of kids. He likes to work outside. He, lo he loves outside, basically. So why did you decide to get into the theater anyway? I don't know. It's just a nice way for me to unwind of all my stress. It's just fun for me. Okay, well, uh, I enjoyed your performance a lot. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, too. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Adam Christ. I've been acting since I was seven, uh, and I'm still acting, and that's the plan for the next uh, however long I live. I play Nick. Nick, uh, he's basically just, you know, a younger version of me, where I couldn't talk to girls and, well, actually, he's just a present version of me. I still can't talk to girls. <laughs> so if some of my viewers decide to come by and see the show, what should they expect to see? They should uh, expect to see just a heartwarming family Christmas story. I actually liked it again. I thought, well, first of all, I usually like my theater a little darker and, you know, more, you know, a little, a, a little more anti-heroes and all that. Mm. But that's kind of hard to have during Christmas, you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> but again, as a family type thing, I, it did pull at the heartstrings. And I did like the ending. It was actually a very sweet ending. Mm -hmm.
Yes, yes, I agree. It's a very, very sweet ending. Very, very Christmas appropriate ending. It's a family. It's a family show. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah, definitely, show. definitely something for the families. And again, it's also G rated, so it's you know everyone can come. You can bring children here too. It's not like it's not like you have to worry about the language or anything like that. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, once again, I enjoyed the performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. A little house Christmas will be playing at the Sierra Madre Playhouse from November eighteenth to December twenty third. For more information, go to www.sierramadreplayhouse.org.